So what else is possible in this new reality after this pandemic lockdown? That's a question you want to ask yourself because we can get so stuck in all these fears and worries, especially if you're listening to the media. Um, you can really get stuck in a place that is not going to create something new for you. And really, truly, with all this craziness going on, the end result is we are moving into a whole new way of being. There's no going back. <laughs> the way we used to th do things is over okay things are changing rapidly even you can even see commercials going out there where um, people you can see a lot of these big companies are gearing up to do business in a new way which will I'm sure continue even after this lockdown is over so let's talk about that for a little bit <laughs> I'm Linda Armstrong, in case you don't know me already, if you're new to my channel. If you are, I'd love you to subscribe and like and share, uh, comment below. Um, what I like to talk about here on this channel is everything to do with loving your life, because that's my website, lovemylife.coach. Like, how do we do that? <laughs> how do we love our life? How do we live from love? Especially with all this craziness that's going on. But truly, the only way to get through it is to be able to keep your vibration high, to come from that place of love and get out of all that fear and all that judgment, because there's a lot of judgment going on around there. People judging how people are reacting to this whole thing. What if you can just live what's true to you and allow other people to do their thing, right? After all, that's what it's all about, right? Allowing, and when you're in that higher, vibration it's easier to allow people to be and do and have things the way they want them to be or they feel they ought to be or the way they need them to be it's very easy to get hung up on someone else's reality when it comes into your awareness and kind of lose sight of your own okay so really i'm hoping that this is going to be a short video about what else is possible for you and only you Okay, maybe your family members, but still remember, you can never create, for, you can't create for another person. We are all individuals, even though we're connected to everyone and everything, but we each have our own unique way of perceiving, of sharing, of shining, of doing. We all have our own unique ways. And if we can stay out of that place of judging how other people are doing things or giving your power away to those voices that want to create all the fear. Because that doesn't feel right in your body, right? It feels very heavy. So if it feels very heavy, it's not your truth. When you can see things from your own truth and what's real and right for you, you feel lighter. You don't feel heavy, right? So yesterday, I know I had one of those days where my energy just really dipped. And I was like, oh no, what's, why am I here again? You know, it's like this little roller coaster. I mean, that's what happens with the awakening, right? You, you break free of some old patterns and programs and then you realize some more comes to the surface for you to let go of, to shed and to release so that you can stay more in that higher vibration, your true nature. We're trying to return back to our true nature of this high vibration of love and love is that energy that heals all. I always have to say that because some people don't realize that. So rather than getting caught up, so one thing we can do rather than getting caught up in all the fear and all that is what if you can just sit quietly, you know, not even a meditation or not even a meditation, just sit quietly, connect to your breath, see if you can find your way. And I've done it in other videos, maybe I'll link one here of how you can expand your energy out and feel your awareness with everything, which always lifts your vibration because you're starting to tap into what is your truth, your true vibration, which is very big and expansive. So when we're feeling shut down and closed in and heavy, that's how I felt yesterday, you want to do the best you can to move out of it. So I'm finding that what really works really well for me, besides totally distracting myself, and I'll show you what I was doing to distract myself yesterday, 
but is asking questions of the universe. This is an access consciousness teaching, whereas we don't have to figure out the answers. We just keep asking the universe because the universe wants to answer our questions. It's our mind that gets in the way of the universe answering God, spirit, whatever you want to call it, answering those questions. The mind gets in the way and thinks it knows. But really, how could the mind know if it just keeps recreating the same thing over and over that's putting you into that lower vibration? It doesn't know or it wouldn't. you wouldn't be able to get stuck back into that energy, right? So you want to just ask questions of the universe and even allow yourself to be in that space of not knowing how it's going to come so that maybe you can return back to that childlike wonder and surprise about how things happen and how things come in. Remember when we used to look at the world that way? And if you can't remember it, look at the little kids. See what they're doing. See how they're creating. See how they can make something out of nothing. Something fun out of nothing. Because, you know, we can go the other route too, right? As adults, when we're carrying all that baggage of past patterns and programs and experience and all of that stuff. So anyway, you want to ask questions like, okay, what else is possible? What new ways of creating is this pandemic opening up for me and what I share into the world? So I know for one of my businesses is a karate school. And, you know, we can't teach karate right now. So we're doing online classes we never thought of doing before. And they work to a certain degree. Um, there's a lot of good you can get from that. And now we're looking to expand into what other ways can we get, can we teach so that people can really have this experience? Um, because who knows if we're going to be allowed to be in a room with 20, 30 people working out again, <laughs> right? Now at this moment, we don't have that answer, right? So the question is, what else is possible? How else can we still share the things we love sharing with the world when we can't be all together in the same room? You just ask the questions. Don't get in the head trying to figure it out because when you just ask the questions and you open yourself up to, I don't know, surprise and delight me, universe. <laughs> Send me an inspiration because when you are open and in a higher vibe, the inspiration comes and you know that. How many times have you been in the shower and a great idea comes into your mind? Or you're just hanging out playing with your dog on the lawn and a great idea comes into your mind. Or you're just out riding your bike or who knows what, exercising. And these great ideas will come in because you're not resistant at that time. You're not in your mind trying to figure it out. You're actually just doing something else that gives you some pleasure in some way. So, yeah, so that's a good question. What else is possible? What can come from all of this? Um, how does it get any better than this? You ask that with anything. That's like a basic access consciousness uh, question. How does it get any better than this? Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, you just ask the question. Good can always get better. Bad can always get better, right? We just want to expand the awareness and allow for possibilities to come in without having to know what they are. So that's the big switch maybe that has to happen, not having to know how things turn out. So that when the inspiration comes in, that creativity can take over and you just have these ideas popping in. You know that when you're putting things together in that way, they always work, right? Because there's such a good energy behind them. So when you find yourself getting stuck, like I was stuck yesterday, um, and one question is, what can I do that will clear this vibration out for me and lift me into a higher state? Just leave it, right? Um, what would I what would I enjoy doing right now? Ask the question. You know, maybe you don't have the answer right then, but you're asking the question. Then you go make yourself a cup of coffee or sit down, have a snack, and you're like, oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go and do some gardening. I'd love to go out there. This it's nice out today. I'm gonna go do that. Well, for me, I was working on I put these aside here so I can show you um, you know I've been working on a bunch of different things but there's these letters words you know that you can hang up on the wall um, and I have a bunch that are completed and a bunch that I'm still working on this one's done this one's done right love um, but I was working on these three and I had them to work on for a while, and they're, they're, um, they're not even done yet, but I'm just doodling all over. I painted them, and now I'm doodling all over them. And then I'm going to put them in my Etsy store, right? This one's green on green. I don't know if you could see that. I'm still working on it. But 
So I knew I had these things laying around and I could be doing that. So I thought, you know what? And I'm, I'm telling you, I didn't even feel like it. <laughs> My energy was so bad. I'm like, all right, I know that if I sit down and do and work on the, the artwork, that it'll clear my, my mind because I'll just be doodling and drawing and getting in. And as you're doing that, you're opening yourself, freeing yourself up. At least I was. And then I move into this whole other state of being where it's like, it's like two different people from where I was a couple of hours earlier to where I, I was then. But I have to say, when the idea first came into my mind, you know, if you do some artwork, you'll you'll move out of this. Why don't you just do that? I actually didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I stayed. I stayed kind of funky, miserable for a little while before I decided to do that. And maybe the question that opened it up for me is, uh, you know, what would it take for me to feel better? What can I do now that would be more fun? Like those questions. Even when I was saying them at first, I had too much resistance to actually doing something. After a little while, it opened up because I'm allowing for possibilities. So it's a very simple concept, and I'm taking a lot of words to say it because some people just don't get it. You know, what you just ask questions and you feel better. You ask questions and you eventually feel better because you stop trying to figure it out. You just ask questions that would open up more possibilities for you, right? So that's what this whole video is about. Like, you know, what else is possible? What, what new reality? Is possible after this pandemic yeah how will life flow for me after this pandemic ask these kind of questions uh, what what will it take for me to yesterday what I was saying like what will it take for me to get back into that flow of creativity so I eventually did it <laughs> and it shifted my whole energy I'm like ah, oh, this is great next time I'm battling with feeling it's almost like there's a part of us that wants to stay miserable. And a little bit of that too could just also be because we're just absorbing so much energy. You don't realize how much energy you're absorbing from people outside of you because we're all connected. And a lot of people are in this fear and they are worrying. You know, I'm worrying. I've got one business that could be no business if this pandemic continues. You know, I don't really know what's going to happen with that. We've lost a lot of students during this time. Um, my healing business, although there's nothing stopping me from doing that work, um, it hasn't been, I haven't been busy during this pandemic time. I guess maybe some people are just unsure and not, don't know if they want to put their money there. I don't know. Don't really know. That's somebody else's reality, right? So for me, I just want to keep my energy open and keep asking, you know, what will it take to move things forward and grow my business there's a question you know what will it how can in what ways can we transform the karate school that will um maybe you know excite us new ways of doing it and create prosperity you ask questions you just ask questions i don't know those answers yet but the more i can stay in the question the easier the answer can drop in as soon as i try to figure it out it's like the brakes go on because you have limited amount of information to figure it out with. And most of the time you're using the same old information over and over and over and over again. So really, this is a great time. And it's a good example of how nothing will ever be the same as it has been. No matter what. Some things might be similar to how they were. But things are changing. Nothing's going back. Everything's going to move forward. And if more of us can open our mind and our awareness to what else is possible how could this work in our favor what great things could come from this even though there was all that misery what good can come from this how can I contribute to the good that can come from this right so my question is how can I help people to move out of the fear that is they're drowning in right now and that's why you know that's why I'm making this video all I can do is right now share talk uh, about ideas and things that help me. So yeah, I distracted myself with artwork. You could distract yourself, just go out in nature. I mean, just going outside, being in the sun. You know, I was able to have like a barbecue with my family the other day, we all got together. And it was just so nice to be with people and to be outdoors and in the sun and just, you know, hanging out together. That was so great, right? So you can still do those things. There's still ways. I mean, people are meeting on Zoom and having little Zoom clubs. Okay, you never thought of doing that before, but you can. In some ways, maybe it's creating togetherness in a whole different way 
than we had done before, even though the opportunity was there. So the opportunity was there to connect with people all around the world, but maybe we didn't do it as much as we could or even thought that we would enjoy doing it as much as we are, right? I love hooking up with people from all over the world. You know, it, it's really great. I'm hooking up with people anyway. In any way, it, it's it's always good because we're we, we you know we're expressive people. We're creators. We want to be and grow and do things together. I mean, we don't want to be so isolated and all alone um, because uh, that's fine. But you can get a little bored that way, right? We want to like the variety. So sometimes that variety comes in in ways that you want to judge or you think is wrong you know that's what you want to stay clear of just find what else is possible for you what can i do that will lift my spirit to make me feel better the rest of this day and tomorrow um you know, just just keep asking questions so i'd like to do a clearing for you for anything that would prevent you and forbid you from being the question from being in the question exploring how to create through the question anything that is hanging around any programs and patterns that would stop you from doing that can we just uncreate and destroy all of those right and wrong good and bad pot and pock all nine shorts boys and beyonds now that's the access consciousness clearing and you can uh, learn more about what that means what that entails the whole clearing that's happening as you do the statement and uh, i think it's the clearingstatement.com you can find out what that is so i guess that's all i'm going to say for right now i just want to open up your mind to that just that just that question what else is possible in this situation you know what, what can i learn from this and grow from this whole experience where can it take me to advance me in my future what magical things can actually come into my reality through all of this craziness why not ask that question why ask the questions <laughs> that um, don't allow for possibility, that lock you down, right? I don't even want to say any of those because I don't want to put them in my reality, but they exist. And you know they exist because people might call you up on the phone, like I could think of family members, and start saying these questions that are not productive, are, they're not open questions that allow for possibility. They're very locked into misery and upset and how the world is going to end, <laughs> right? It's a difference. What feels better? The truth will always make you feel lighter. Anything else that makes you feel heavy is a lie. So when you, and you'll feel that from people. Just start paying attention for yourself, right? Notice when you're talking to people what they're saying, what they're asking, and see how that feels to you. You, you know. Check with your body. Your body will tell you. Does it feel heavy or does it feel light? So for me, asking questions like what else is possible after all of this settles down, what new realities can be created that take our whole planet to a higher consciousness? Why not ask that question? That's really what it's all about. Hmm. There's a question to ponder or just to let it go out there because you can't figure it out. You could have some ideas and some of them might feel really good. So hold on to the good feelings. When those bad ones come in, ask another question. What, what question can I ask now that would unlift, uplift and inspire me to more, right? How can I feel better today? What can I do that would be exciting today? You know, ask questions, just ask questions. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. So anyway, I'll see you on another video. And um, again, I'd love you to subscribe, like, share, comment below. I'd love to hear what you think or what questions work for you. Why don't you leave that down below? Leave for me the questions you ask or the one that comes to your mind that lifts you up, that may allow for more possibilities or more magic. What, what will it take to have more magic show up for me? You know, you can ask that question. I'll ask that question and then I'll see like a beautiful bird go past my window. I was like, wow. And instantly I was like, whoa, that felt really good. Or a butterfly goes by. Like I get distracted all the time because I've got this whole wall of windows on the other side of my desk here. Um, and that's fun because you can get a lot of little instant, you know, the universe wants to send you information. So you just need to open up to allow it to come in and then 
be aware of it. Notice it when it comes in. And of course, it's law of attraction, right? The more you notice, the more you notice, the more you notice. So let's notice the good things, the uplifting things. Acknowledge that. You know, even if you have to say, wow, I just saw that butterfly made me feel awesome. Okay, good. Let's acknowledge that instead of this other stuff that I don't even want to say that people are acknowledging everywhere they go when they're talking about this whole pandemic and this lockdown and all of that. You could feel the difference, right? So that's all. I'll see you. Bye.